Hello everyone, welcome back to the .NET office. So far in this tutorial series, what we have done, we have created the storage account, cognitive search, OpenAI. Apart from that, we have seen like how we uh, do the CUD operation with the storage account or the container or the blob storage. We have seen how we do the um, like integration between the cognitive search, OpenAI. And even all these operations we have performed with the .NET Core application. Now, since we are done with our application, now our task to publish this application on Azure portal and see it is working as expected or not. So for publishing this one, let's go to the Visual Studio. Here, what I'm going to do, I'm going to change as in release. That is the first task I have done. Now, next thing is rebuild it. Let's see everything is working as expected. So it should uh, li like uh, rebuild as successful. Once the rebuild will successful, what we will, next we will do, we will publish it from the Visual Studio itself. So right click on this one, go to the project and from here, what we will click, we will click on this publish. Once you will click on this publish, it will ask a couple of the things that we have to do and will it will automatically publish this code on the Azure portal. It is very easy to perform this operation and we are going to publish it on the AI service. So I'm going to select an Azure, click next, and then we are going to select Azure App Service Windows, click next. And from here, what we have to do, it will ask for the uh, connection strings. So here it will ask like what is the subscription name and everything we have to give from here. So I'm just selecting this team 70 and this is the next team 170 ATS and then all these things we have to do or either we have to create new so what i'm going to do for my application i'm going to create a new app service and this resource group is this and this is the you know, like hosting plan so that i'm going to change for this one like dotnet office azure and this is the name so the name i'm going to give as in dotnet office azure app so this is the name i'm going to select so everything is fine like I'm going to create a new app service so based on that i'm just selecting as i need for my application so i have selected here now click on create so new app service i'm going to create from here or you can create this app service from azure portal directly and you can utilize that app service directly here as well so it will take few seconds to create this app service and once this app service will be created then what we will do, we will perform the deployment operation. So here you can see this app service is already created for us. Now, if you want to post this data as in chip package, you can do from here, but I'm going with this. Now click on next. So once uh, it will come, it will ask for the deployment type. And once you will do, just click on finish. Now what will happen? It will create, like it will take few seconds and it will deploy its uh, as expected and now we can see it is a publishing is successful so when you will click on close now the next thing what it is saying it is ready to publish you can publish it but before that i want to add the dependencies so for that one when you will scroll down i will click on this plus then from here like currently we are using the azure storage so i'm going to click next because as in data source we have the storage so we have to select that one Next is the net office, the data is storage. Click next. So once you will click on this next, you can give your connection string. So dot net office connection. So this I'm going to give and click next. Once I'll click on next, it will ask what kind of the things you want. So I'm taking code, new get package, permission for remote access, secret store, everything. And click on finish. So once I will uh, do this, what it will do, it will take few seconds. To perform and then my all the dependency configuration will be uh, like configured uh, properly like it should configure as expected so let's wait for some time to do so we can see all the dependency configuration is successful now let's click on close and once everything is done now click on publish so it will take again few seconds to publish this code and once it will be successful we can see like our this application will be on the azure app services 
so that we will test on the live on the application let's see it it is working as expected or not so now we can see our pub, uh, like the application is pub, published successfully and you can see this application is now on this path like dotnet of azure app dot azure website dot net now if i will go on this path you will see this application is live whatever we have seen locally we can see all these things now from here for an example let's search what is shisha if i will click on this send it should give me the output as expected and we are seeing it is giving the result let's click on home and from here if i want to uh, delete this we can see that is deleted successfully if i will click on the dot net uh, like this file and it is downloading so all the operation is uh, like uh, performing successfully as we have ex expected before so this is the way what we can do we can publish this application on the azure portal also but one thing we have to remember now for an example this is our window services just now which we have created i have opened it app under the app service you will see this one just now we have created then this one like while publishing the application what it happened like when we published is it gave us some time authentication issue and the reason is when you will come on this particular app service which we have created just come to this configuration and from here just go to the general setting and when you will go on the general setting what you will you should see scm basic authentication should be on and ftp basic authent uh, like auth public should be on so these two things should be on otherwise what will happen it will give the issue related to the authentication so this is the way we can publish our application on the azure portal as well so that's it for this video if you have any question and doubt please comment thank you